Okay, uh, my name is Jim with Reclaim Hosting and I'm gonna do a quick video about spinning up Ghost using Docker on Reclaim Cloud. Um, this was inspired actually by a post by one of Reclaim's own, Pilot Irwin. Um, they were looking to install Reclaim, install the one-click installer for Ghost on Reclaim Cloud. So it's in our marketplace. And after doing that, they found that it's actually not up to date. And we were looking together for another alternative. And this blog post um, really breaks down what we did. And the other option was using um, Docker Engine, which we kind of played around with a bit. And there was a few extra steps. So this morning I played around with just running Ghost from Docker Hub. So I'm gonna show you that right now, and I'm gonna disappear myself, and hopefully this will actually demonstrate uh, the process for quickly and pretty easily installing Ghost, which is a blogging platform, and I'll talk more about that in a second, um, on Reclaim Cloud. So first thing you do is you spin up a new environment, you select the Docker instance, you don't actually need any of that, you just go to select an image, and then from there, uh, you would search here in Docker Hub for Ghost. And I know that the first image that shows up is going to be the actual official image. And if you click on this link right here for more details, it will take you here and show you that's the official Ghost image, which is good. I highly recommend you using the official Ghost images in case there's any issues. Those are the kind of, that's the official place to go. So that's what I usually install. So go to next. That's all set. One of the things to keep in mind is you do not need to run a public IP address on this because we're going to do that on the load balancer that we install. So you can turn this off. Um, actually, keep it off. It was off. And then the other thing is I'm going to name my environment. I'm going to call it Ghost Container. And then that will be the full URL of the Ghost install, although we'll map a domain on that. Um, and if I wanted it in another region, I would just select the region. I'm gonna keep it in the UK. And then the other thing we do besides um, selecting the ghost container is we want to put a load balancer on top of this and that will allow us to map a domain. So I'm gonna use Nginx, the latest version. I'm gonna click next. And for the Nginx um, container, I wanna make sure that IP version four is on so that we do have an IP address for that. So IP address for the load balancer, not for the Docker container. We should be all set now. I can now click on this and at ghostcontainer.uk.reclaim.cloud, we will soon have an instance. So why Ghost? What is Ghost? Ghost is actually a blogging platform. It started as a blogging platform, was an alternative to such popular platforms as like WordPress, etc. And it has actually, in the last several years, morphed into a pretty robust newsletter publishing um, platform. And so Reclaim Hosting is going to be putting out a newsletter monthly. And I figured it would be good for us to explore um, Ghost, which is an open source application. We can install it on the cloud. And then also a demonstration for us of Reclaim Cloud and what's possible. So. That is kind of the story behind getting Ghost up and running, and um, it, should it should be up and running here pretty soon. The version that we have in our marketplace is outdated, as I noted, and I found that it even took a little bit longer to spin that up than the container. The marketplace version is not using a Docker container, it's using a custom environment, and we'll have to reach out to Jelastic, which is a software that's running Reclaim Cloud and find out if they're gonna update that because that's still um, fairly easy to install a one click, but people asked, how do you do this with Docker? So I figured a quick video to show you how might work. So it is still working here. So I may actually, hold on one second. Huh. One thing I'm going to have to look at in, oh, there it is. Nice. I was going to think about how would I pause the recording, but I don't have to. So anyway, here it is. Our environment is all set up. We have the load balancer here, right? And that's going to give us the IP address, which we will need. 
And then we also have um, the ghost container, which is this environment. And so this is crucial because one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna map the ghost container. Um, we're gonna map the, uh, a domain onto the load balancer. So it's not gonna be ghostcontainer.uk.reclaim.cloud, but rather it's gonna be ghost.babatuesdays.com. So I'm gonna go to Cloudflare, which is where I'm managing the DNS for my blog. And I'm gonna put in that IP address Right, so it's gonna be ghost.babatuesdays.com and I'm just pointing an A record to that IP and I will save that, so that's great. And then after that, I'm going to be able to, hopefully, um, pretty seamlessly map a domain on top of this instance. Now, one of the things that's important when you do this and one of the reasons we use the load balancer is not only for domain mapping but also for a security or an SSL cert. So let's go back here. And a couple of things I wanna do is I wanna click on this add-ons thing and I want to make sure that we have a SSL cert for the domain I just mapped. So I click there and then I put in um, ghost.bavatuesdays.com. So that's the domain it's living at. I'll check for um, typos because I do a lot. And then I am going to click install. And so at this point, the domain I just mapped for this ghost instance should also have an SSL cert installed. So I'll let that happen. And the other thing I could do while that is happening is I can just go to the main domain I originally started. So that would be ghost.uk, no, ghostcontainer.uk.reclaim.cloud. And if I go there, I do see my instance of Ghost has been installed. I have not actually set it up yet, but I could go to something like Ghost and it will ask me to kind of set up my admin and create my new account. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now. We can look at that in a sec, but this, in this case, it's all set. The last piece was really getting that domain mapped. And that requires not only pointing from Cloudflare, the A record, which we did, and that's right here, but also it requires making sure the SSL cert is in. So I'm waiting a bit on that. Hopefully that will configure here soon. And then once that does, I should be able to see ghost from ghost.babatuesdays.com. And at that point, we're up and running. There are a couple other things that I'll do quick tutorials on, but not here. I'll be doing it on how you set up the email for the newsletter using a third party um, email uh, service. And then also um, how you would actually use Ghost for something like this. So some more kind of uh, specific guides around using Ghost, but uh, or actually updating Ghost as well is a good one. So those are some guides you can look forward to. So anyway, I think it should have worked. So I have my Ghost. I am going to go here to ghost.babatuesdays.com. And so if everything went right, and it did, I now have ghost.babatuesdays.com. It's not showing an SSL cert yet, and that may still be taking time, but if I do that, um, it will actually show that it is. So that's awesome. So actually, that is that. That is how you use a Docker container from Docker Hub to get a ghost instance up and running. And the beauty of this is it's the latest version. And in a subsequent video, I'll show you how to actually update Ghost from the command line on Reclaim Cloud. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have fun with the cloud and uh, see you next time. Yeah.